a woman-led youth non-government organization from Palawan, is on a mission to conserve land and protect remaining forests in the country. Joining us via Zoom is the Center for Sustainability Philippines Research Program Coordinator, Aubrey Jane Padilla. Magandang umaga. Thank you very much for joining us. Hi, good morning. Good morning. So let's first talk about the work that you do and just how important forest preservation is. Can you give us a brief backdrop on your group and of course, uh, why mm -hmm. this advocacy in particular? Okay. So, hi. Uh, again, my name is Aubrey. I'm the Research Program Coordinator for CS, a women-led youth environmental organization based in Puerto Princesa City, Palawan. Our mission is to conserve land and protect the Philippines' last remaining forest through legal establishment of protected areas. So we do this through frontline community organizing with the indigenous people and local communities, leading scientific research with national and international scientists, and then support Oh, with the support of local communities and the proof of science, we do political lobbying directly to the decision makers to ensure that the area is legislated on paper. So um, the reason for this work is that a um, long time ago, 95% of the Philippines is covered by primary forests. But unfortunately, this has down to 3% today. And um, we work particularly in the island province of Palawan. Palawan is very special. It's a biosphere reserve and it's considered as the last ecological frontier of the Philippines. And approximately 50% of the original forest cover is still in the island province mm -hmm. of Palawan. Um, our work uh, focuses on four pillars. So we do land conservation, that is to establishment of protected area. We do reforestation through regeneration of the forest, um, by a native uh, planting native trees with the indigenous people and local communities. And then we do citizen science programs wherein we train and empower indigenous people and local communities in the area to conduct independent biodiversity monitoring. And lastly, we um, have a new program called Youth Leadership Incubator wherein we mentor and support youth across the Philippines to fundraise for and lead their own conservation project in their own communities. Aubrey, you mentioned it a while ago, only 3% remaining, your group says, in terms of pristine forests. Just so people have an idea of how big 3% actually is. Obviously, it is a small, much smaller number compared to you, 95% that you mentioned mo a while ago. But then, yung 3% mm -hmm. na to, how big are those areas and where are they located? Mm -hmm. Um, I do not have the exact uh, number in terms of hectares, but just imagine that um, the whole country is 95%, the whole um, land of the Philippines before is covered by 95% um, forest. And majority of those lands are located in Palawan. There are also ones in Luzon, which is the Sierra Madre and then the Mindanao. Mm -hmm. um, but for CS, our work is only uh, based here in Palawan. And yeah, so our, much of our efforts uh, remain in the island. Well, of course, I'm sure there are a few pro uh, challenges you also face with regards to all of your programs. Na mention mo na kanina, uh, with regards to, with regard rather to all of the work that you're doing. But in terms of the challenges that you face, what are the biggest hurdles to all of your efforts? Um, the biggest hurdles would be uh, sustainability. Well, firstly. Um, we're a small NGO. We're a small. We started as a small team of six people. That are um, five out of six are born and raised here in Palawan and are members of the indigenous Kuyunun and Tagbanwa tribes. Um, in terms of uh, challenges, I think basically it's it's, in, it's in, uh, institutionalizing our work, basically getting buy-in from the government, whether it's from the local government unit, from the national government agencies. Um, getting them on board to sustain the project, especially the legislation, um, getting um, the management plan working for the protected area after it's been legislated. We have a lot of protected areas in the country, but only a few of them are working really on the ground where, you know, enforcement are... are um, enforcement are in place, um, livelihood programs are in place for the indigenous people in local communities, research yeah. are updated for all these areas. So most of these are just paper-based um, protected areas and we wanted to change that, to lift all of this legislation off the 
page and make it a real functioning uh, protected area in practice. Aubrey, we're running out of time, but then before we let you go, can you, one, let us know about the impact that the group has already made so far? And of course, how can our mm -hmm. viewers reach out to you to try and help make that impact a bit more, more influencing in, regards, in regard to the conservation of forests in Palawan? So our flagship project is called the Cleopatra Steedle Critical Habitat. It's the Philippines' biggest critical habitat at 41,350 hectares, roughly two-thirds the size of the national capital region. And currently, this is being managed by the city government of Puerto Princesa in cooperation with the stakeholders, with the communities from the barangays surrounding the Cleopatra Needle, and, of course, the non-government and private sectors. Um, our work at CS is, uh, doesn't stop there. After the legislation, we aim to support and establish more terrestrial um, uh, protected areas in Palawan. So we're moving down south of Palawan to establish another critical habitat called Sultan Peak. And since we're a very small organization, uh, much of our manpower comes from volunteers, from students who help us with the daily grind um, of our work. So um, you can head over to our website, centerforsustainabilityph.org. And our programs are there. We do have a lot of volunteer opportunities if you're interested in joining us on ground. And also you can also donate to our programs and our project. Um, the details are also in our website. We're also active on um, social media, specifically Facebook and Instagram, and you can find us at Center for Sustainability, PH Inc. Well, that is a research program coordinator for the Center for Sustainability Philippines, Aubrey Jane Padilla. Maraming salamat. Thank you very much for joining us.